Hey guys, Khalid from Cricket Fanatics Magazine here, and I'm here with one of your favourites, Marco Mare. Marco, we did a Q&A with you earlier in the year, and just before the tournament, but I want to like, just brief over that, and how you started cricket, and just give us, yeah, how that happened for you. Yeah, okay, so cricket started when, um, I think back then it was just, it was still Baker's mini cricket. Uh, I was in uh, Wooster Noord primary school, um, until grade three, I think, um, and then my mom's dad passed away. Oh, okay. uh, unfortunately, I mean, it's, it's many years ago now, yeah. but then we had to move to the Eastern Cape and then uh, okay. we started farming and yeah, I've just had a passion for cricket. Um, every afternoon when I got home, my dad was at home because he was an architect, so okay. sometimes he used to work from home. So we used to just like, dad, come, let's go. <laughs> uh, straight drives, on drives, pull shots, you name it. And, and obviously I, I used to watch him when I was young, so yeah. that was just in the family from a young age. So. So obviously this is a platform where a lot of youngsters come here and they can learn from their heroes. So we're trying to bring you guys closer to them and them closer to you, of course, in the return. But what I like about your style of batting is that you come in at tricky situations when the team really needs you to accelerate the run rate or, or get them out of a pickle or get them out of a hole. Is that a skill that you just comes naturally to you or what goes through your mind and how do you approach it? Um. I don't, I don't know really what you want to call it. Um, we practice for certain situations in the game. Okay. Um, so when I bat, um, I'd normally try and bat for the last six, five overs, and then we'd obviously have a match situation, and obviously our coach knows um, most of the bowlers we are playing against, and obviously we've got local knowledge of the local players because obviously we've been playing against each other for, for a few seasons. Um, so it's just practicing for match situations, and, and obviously... Uh, just practice makes perfect. It's yeah. just something silly, and uh, but yeah, obviously in the game you just need to take the right options, and I'm just fortunate that the ones I've taken have gone our way. So what is it like to play with this bunch of guys? I mean, you guys are having an incredible season, um, top of the log and mixing up. <laughs> sometimes you top, sometimes not, but at the moment you top of the log before the the blitz game. Um, what has it been like to be with us experienced heads, guys like John John Smuts who have done it over and over again for the Warriors and the team that you play for? Yeah, look, um, it's it's really good. Um, I think we've got a good mixture of young and old, if, if I'm allowed to call them that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we, uh, we are learning from each other um, each game. Um, I think we just came into the tournament with a, with a very good mindset, yeah. all of us, um, very open-minded. Um, and the thing that I enjoy the most is that everybody is contributing towards a team. It's not just one person we're relying on, um, whether it's with a ball, with a bat in the field. Um, and one thing uh, specifically for myself that's standing out is that uh, a lot of the older guys would come up to the youngsters and mm. just give them thoughts. Um, maybe try this or what are you thinking of that? What was your option when you were batting there? Um, yeah. So there's, there's just information circling around the team the whole time, yeah. which is amazing. So what is it about cricket in the Eastern Cape? I mean, the Warriors are constantly in that you know, battling for trophies. Now we've got the Nelson Mandela by Giants also constantly battling for trophies. What is it about you guys? Um, it's, I, I don't really know um, what you want me to say, actually. <laughs> um, I, I think it's just a mindset. I think um, it's just switching from, obviously, switching from the red ball to the white ball and uh, keeping your, your basics simple yeah. and then obviously expanding from there. But I don't know, it's just... Me personally, I enjoy white ball cricket. Yeah. Um, and in me saying that, I don't not enjoy four day cricket. Yeah. I mean, I do enjoy any format. But if I had to pick one, I'd, I'd say T20 is up there because I mean, something's happening the whole game. The crowd's entertained. Yeah. They don't know what to expect. I mean, and the same with us. I mean, just the way we play. It's it's amazing to see how hard some of these guys actually hit the cricket ball, how fast they bowl, and their game plans, how they set guys up. Because I mean, you think in four day cricket, you're setting people up in the one day game. It's almost like. Mm. Um, it's a batter's game, but it's amazing to see someone like Imi bowling in the in the power play and, and actually working guys out and and obviously with the skills we've got with um, Chris Morris and Junior Dala and just just to name a few. So it's it's amazing. And just lastly, a uh, message to the Cricket Fanatics fans that have been supporting you so passionately. Uh, it's it's been amazing and and thank you guys very much. Um, I mean, I, I don't know all of you personally, but the messages that we get um, as players from you guys are much appreciated and and obviously. Um, just keep supporting us whether we do well or whether we don't. Um, I mean, we're trying our best, so whatever happens, happens. So. Thanks a lot, Mark, and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Thank you.